Now in this video I'm going to show you how to hang a curtain poles uh, or rails on a curtain okay on a on a on a, on a door window now this pole is basically it's 118 centimeters long 70 inches approx okay and the first thing i need to do is establish the middle of this pole so what i've done is this i've basically um taken a tape measure and i have done this so what, it, what i've done is i've taken a tape measure all the way to the end with the end uh, uh, grubs at the end and what I've done is um, I've established the middle if it's 70 inches across the middle is 35 inches and what I've done is this I've placed a masking tape well uh, tape there and uh, what I've done is basically um, afterwards I've then remeasured it to get the exact 35 point and what I've done is I've used a pencil to mark this okay so this is the middle of the pole all across okay and it doesn't have to be exact okay so this is the exact middle with a pencil and I've, what i've done is i've placed uh about three markings there you, you know because the pole you know it rotates so establish the middle and my curtains are going to be put up here on this window that leads to the backyard and what I've done is this, my curtains are 228 centimeters long, which is longer than this wooden uh, ledge, that wooden ledge or whatever it's called uh, is. And putting it on there, it was just, just going to be too, too long by five and a half centimeters. And you want to be at least half an inch off the ground. Okay. So what I've done is this, I've done... Um, the first thing I've done is I've established the point where my curtains, how long my curtains are, and this is how high it is, 228, okay? 228 centimeters is um, the length of the curtain. So I've established that this is the point. And so the, the pole has to be above this, or at least at this point, because uh, when you have eyelet curtains, what happens is there's the ring, and it sits on the ring and then there's another three centimeters that will arise. So what will happen is um, um, it doesn't have to be um, this high because when it's on the, eye, on, on, the, on the eyelet ring, there's another three centimeters above it. And uh, it, it's, it's, what, um, it's, it's why... Um, it will uh, sit. Um... The other thing I've done is this. I've established, by measuring all of this, I've established that the middle is here. And I've placed a marking here, middle, okay? Next thing I want to do is take a pole and leave it there. So what I've done is I've left the pole on top of there now. And then I'm going to show you what I've done. So as I said before, there's the middle, which has been marked there. And then... Well, from this pencil marking, I can establish that here, aligned with the middle point, is roughly where the pole should be, to be center, so that there's, it's equal over there and equal over there, okay? Now, the other thing I've done is this. I've got this radiator, which is near the wall. And what I don't want is the kerns to, uh, I need the kerns to stop at least at this point. And if it, if it goes beyond that, what will happen is the kerns is just going to be bending like that while it's touching this, um, this thermostat here. Okay. So what I've done is I've established, I measured that and found that from the pipe here, or at least from here to over there, it's about three inches. And I've marked it over here three inches. And again, I've gone over there and I've marked three inches. And this will allow me to know that it's all equal. Okay. Now that I've established the pole, the middle of the pole, and that the curtains, I don't want it to go 
basically beyond this three inch mark here. This is the three inch mark. What I need to do is I need to make sure this bracket, which is basically the curtain stop also, sits here, okay? Equally on each side, this side and that side. And then after that, you'll see the end of the pole. So this is the stop mark because it's just not going to be any worth beyond this radiator because the curtain's going to drape and beyond this, the curtain's just going to look bendy. So I've established that, the stop. And what I'm going to do now is basically I'm going to mark some holes for this here and over there and get it measured perfectly. What I've done is I've uh, created a mark that says it's three inches away from here. And what I've also found out is that it's actually three inches away from here. So from here to here is six inches altogether. And above here, I've created another mark for the three inch mark. And hopefully this is straight. I've created a mark here, a line here. And this is the point where I'm going to place um, my uh, bracket, which will be this. Basically, I'm going to place this. And this is basically um, where it's going to stop the, the, the bracket. The bracket will stop here, hopefully. And that will stop the current from going more beyond and touching this thermostat, which is at the bottom. And there you go. I'll just put that on there. And hopefully it should be nice and straight. Uh, I'm not using a spirit level, but I will have to establish if this is straight. Well, I might just go and buy a spirit level. And this should be the three meter mark. Three, three inch mark away from the corner of the wall. And the curtain stop point. And this will allow the curtain to at least fall above the 228 mark, which is the length of the curtain and also be a bit two, three centimeters higher than the floor. So what I've done is now is I've created a line, done a drawing, and I've created two screw markings here for the holes. And then I'm gonna to have to do that over there on the other side. And this I believe is what is equal. Okay, it's equal on each side. So what I've done is basically I've attached a masonry bit on the on the drill. Now these are masonry bits and the black ones I'll show you here. You could probably get away with it, but they can break. They're, they're usually black and they're usually of wood. And masonry is like, you know, when you're trying to go through bricks, they're usually silver and they're a bit more tough. And you need one of these, okay? Or else it's just not going to work. The drill bit could break. And uh, this, I'm going to use this to make a drill, a hole now. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pilot hole with this. It's usually a small hole and I've already done it, but I'm going to go through it again because I can't do two things with a camera. And and I'm going to then measure how deep it's gone. So I need an inch in there at least. And that should be it. When you pull it out, reverse it. And the screws again are about, I need to basically be at least an inch in. And this will be all right. So I've made the hole and now I'm gonna put the plug in there. And this will sit flush, okay? So what I've done is I've Put one up there just to test it out. One screw is in there and it's all nice and flush. And I put this on top, which has another screw. Tighten this, tighten that. And it's all lined because I did create a line there. And now what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to put the pole on there to see what if it's going to be level. 
So the pole is now perfectly there. There is some discrepancy over there and there. It's just a drilling mistake I made. But it's equal. There might be a two, two millimeter difference between one side to another, but it's all equal, I would say. And uh, uh, what I'm gonna do now is I need to know if it's balanced. I don't have a spirit level with me. What I'm gonna do is this. I'm going to use a spirit level on here and take the drill up there and see if it's balanced and straight. These are the curtains. I'm going to open this up and there's two of them. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to see the top, up to the top is 228. And this pole right now, at the top, it measures 229, okay? But the main thing is this. Once it sits on the pole, there's this gap here. And this, I believe, is about three centimeters, okay? So the curtains will be above the floor by at least uh, some, some distance. So what you can see is from the top of the curtain to the to the bottom of the ringlet eyelet, it's uh it's over three centimeters. So that's enough adequate space. So I've hanged the curtains and what you can do is you can establish the curtains are not exactly touching the floor, and I've put this cloth here just to stop the bottom from getting dirty. And what I can establish is that it's almost a perfect fit. And what you got to realize is if you feel it's too long here, yeah, you can still adjust these uh, brackets and take them a bit higher so the pole sits a bit higher. You'll see there's a lot of gap there. There's a lot of length. So you need to do that and then establish the second hole, which is at the bottom. Once you've established that height, then you can create another hole uh for the for the bottom remove the, the the piece of cloth underneath and what you can see is some parts have not touched the floor whilst other parts have touched the floor okay and it seems like right in the center is the problem so i might raise it up a bit because i don't want it to touch the floor so what i've done is i've raised uh the brackets a bit more higher they they should be sitting at the top of this so that you know it's uh you know it holds it up but now i just do it and it's pretty this is a pretty strong grip once i create a second hold here the screw will fit very tightly and hold it up so now i've adjusted it the curtains are there's gaps there, but I still feel the gap is not big enough. And it's basically not touching anything. It's not touching the floor anywhere at any point. I mean, if I move it here, it is... I mean, some parts of the curtain are really high. Other parts are really low. You know, so this is why they say it's an approximate length. And... These two brackets here, I mean, I've measured them exactly and they, are, they should be precise to the millimeter. And to establish if this is straight, I will have to get a spirit level. So I've put the curtains up and this is what it looks like. It's what you call is a kind of like a half gathered thing. So there's two curtains here, basically. And it's creating a half gather rather than a full spread. And the main reason is because uh, my brackets have to stop at a certain point, which is this, because I don't want the, the curtains to reach beyond this point and touch the radiator, which is going to get hot in the winter. So it's going to only reach up to the thermostat there. And that's it. It should stop there. I don't want it to touch the, curtain, uh, the heater. And so I'm, I'm going to have to realize that um, first of all, I didn't need a pole that was that long, although they come in standard lengths. The next pole, next pole below this is like what you call is a 
46 inch pole and that in my opinion is too small and um, they recommend this 66 inch width which is this basically from there to there full spread is 66 inches is for a, a uh, a 66 inch pole and this is a 70 inch pole and as, as I said it can't get exact lengths so I'm just gonna be have to be happy with this and I'm gonna get more blockage here because um, at least the room's gonna become a bit more dark now so I've got two holes there with two drill bits sorry uh, two plugs in there and the other hole next to the top one was just a miscalculation and I'm going to probably try to fill that up with some polyfiller and then do some touch-up paint and I'm going to now put the brackets up there so I've connected uh, this support underneath there you um, by removing the screw and then putting it back in and there's another screw on top that goes there and this should support it. And I'm going to do the same now on the other side. So now it's sitting perfectly. This, the support, that which fits in between these two. And I'm going to do that for the other side. What I'm doing now is basically um, I've attached the ball and I'm tying it using this little small mini Allen key that came with it. I've done it already. You do, all you do is just put it in there and just adjust it and this is how you're going to open it one day so you've got to keep this allen key for the future okay and equally as i said i've got that middle sticker there with the middle here and i'll get that aligned so now the curtains are up there slid them in i'm gonna have to put now put these end balls in there Okay, I, I put them on foolishly first, but these are put after the curtains are hanged up. And then it's this, uh, it's like a stop. But actually, this is the stop. This is the stop for the curtains. This is just a little decorative thing. So the two finials are now attached at the end. And that's it, my curtains are done. If I feel as though it's too long, what I could do, easily do is just basically raise these two screws up, uh, possibly, and and I'll be okay. So that's it, that's the curtain done. I've got equal sides there, equal sides there. And as I said, um, I kept the sticker here in the middle that aligns with this little marking over there that tells you where the middle is and after I start establish that then I tightened up the some screws at the back and it'll be good so this is this is what you call is the full spread okay and this is what's gonna look like it is bunched up but uh, uh, the main thing is is in the future I could easily take this off and increase the width of those two brackets there and get another four, 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 or five inches on each side. Apart from that, the, it, will, it won't spread anymore because this curtain width is ideal for this pole. 